Hello everybody. Today we are looking at the Assassin X120R SE cooler from Thermalright. I recently purchased a new CPU. It's the Ryzen 7 5700G and it came with a Stealth Wraith cooler on it. That's what the CPU comes with and it does a reasonably good job. So I've seen a lot of YouTube reviewers looking at coolers and stuff like that. Got me interested. So I went out and purchased a Thermal Right. I'm not sure when this was released, but Thermal Right have got thousands of coolers. They have got a lot. I had to do a bit of research on them to make sure it fitted my case. Some of them are really quite tall. This one's 147 mm millimeters and it fits in a like an ATX case it just fits in you get the glass on and I think there's about two mil between the glass and the top of the cooler pipe so what I thought I'd do is see what coolers actually do now obviously they're going to cool the CPU down but what's the difference between the one that comes with the CPU that you purchase and all of these aftermarket ones so what I've done I've done a couple of tests and I've recorded them for you to have a look at now what we're going to do we're going to start with the stealth wraith that comes with the AMD CPUs that you purchase so let's have a quick look at that now I did use screen recorder to grab this so the temperature might be one or two degrees higher than, than it would be at idle but it's around where it should be but I used the screen recorder for all the other recordings as well so any any difference will reflect in that so there we've got around 56 56 degrees so that's the amd stealth wraith there so you know not bad it's, it's idle i'd like to see lower temperatures than that let's now have a look at the assassin from thermal right and see what the differences are now again this is at idle and we have a temperature of around 37 degrees okay so quite a bit of difference there what I thought I'd do now was see what happens to the CPU when you're actually using it. Now, in a lot of reviews, what you'll see is the reviewer will set the fan speeds to 50%, uh, 80%, 100%, something like that, and they'll give you different temperatures there. And you can see the, the CPU working. But what I wanted to do was find out what happens to the CPU when you're actually using it. So I'm going to open DaVinci Resolve because that's a program I use a lot on this computer to make videos for the channel and, and for the band that I'm in as well. So let's have a look at that. Let's go into DaVinci Resolve. Now this is using the stock cooler. We have the temperatures on screen as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the program. We're going to scrub through the timeline on the video. We're going to play back the video and then we're going to render the video. And we're going to do that on the stock cooler and we're going to do that on the Assassin as well and see what the differences are. Let's go and have a look at the stock cooler first of all. Okay, so we're just scrubbing over the timeline there and we're getting around 72 degrees and the CPU sock is reading 55, so not too hot. Let's play it, Let's see what happens now. Okay, so we're going up 71, 70 degrees. So we're going to play that for a little while, let it get settled in, see what temperature we get as the video is playing through in the software. So it's around 70.5, yeah, not bad, 70.5, okay, stop that now. And we'll go over to the render page and we'll set up a render. Put that back to the beginning and we shall call this Cooler Test Stock. Now this is in MP4, H.264 native and it's in 4K as well. Let's add that to the render queue and start rendering. So let's have a look at the temperatures. Okay, it's already going up 77 degrees, 82, 85, 88, wow, 89, 91.1 degrees. That's hot and that's 6%. So bear that in mind, the 6%, we'll see what the temperatures are at 6% when we do the assassin. So 92 degrees and 70 on the sock, 92 degrees, 93 degrees, 94 degrees, 95 degrees, 95.2. Now what's supposed to happen here, when the CPU hits a temperature of above 95, it should start throttling the CPU, but it isn't throttling. So that's interesting, just at 94, it's at 95 there, so I'm, I would expect to see some throttling, but it's not doing it. So we're still at 95.6. 95.9 degrees, 96 degrees, still no throttling, 54% the way through, 96 degrees, that is hot, 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 hot. Okay, so we're 93% done, 
and it reached a high of 96 degrees. OK, so let's have a look how long that's taken us. That's taken us four minutes and three seconds. OK, so quite hot there. So that's the cooler that comes with your CPU when you buy it. It lets your CPU get that hot. OK, let's have a look at DaVinci Resolve with the Assassin cooler on and we're going to do exactly the same test. So here we have it's 53 and 36. So 53 on the top and CPU sock is 40 now. Scrub through the video and we've got a temperature of around 63 degrees. OK. All right. And so let's play the video now and see what temperatures we get then. Okay, it's 59, 58, 59, 58. Let's stop that now. So that's cooling down nicely now. Let's go over to the render page and we'll do the same test as we did on the stock cooler. And we will call this Temp Test Assassin. And that's at MP4, H.264 again, native, and 4K, same as the last time, 60 frames a second. OK, let's add that to the render queue. So we've got four minutes and three seconds on the stock cooler. Let's go. Let's have a look at those temperatures. So 57, 61, 66, 68, 70. It's going up, 72. 73, 74, and I think around this time on the stock cooler, we was already at uh, 91 degrees. So 72, that is impressive. That's a lovely temperature. Putting a big load on the, the CPU doing this rendering. So yeah, that's really nice. Really good. Okay, let's let it run through now. So we're at 73.5. Let that run through. I'm going to probably forward this but we'll let it go to the end just in case it goes up a bit. 74 degrees. Oh, by the way, if you're interested, the video that you're seeing here is by a band called Sever Tendons. I'll put a link in the description to the video. Oh, the song is called Social Engineering. Okay, we're still at 75 degrees. Wow, that's really, really good. Well impressed. So there, we're coming up to 95% done, and we're still at 77 degrees. Really, really good. The stock took four minutes and three seconds. And with the Assassin, let's have a look. Three minutes and 54 seconds. Wow. So there we go. Quite impressive. So does buying a aftermarket cooler assist your workflow and time? Yes, it definitely does. That was a, a three minute music video. So imagine if you were doing a half hour video, an hour video or whatever it is you're doing. Imagine the time that's going to shave off just by having your, your CPU that bit cooler. It makes a big difference and I'm very, very impressed. Right, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like as always. And I'll see you with another review very, very soon. Bye. Well, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Yes. Mm. yes. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Right. That's the end of the video, chaps. No.